Hello, uh, my name is Afriza. Um, I'm from illustration and digital composition team. Uh, today, I would like to uh, introduce uh, our team's visual control board. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, we have two uh, VCBs where the first one, uh, which is here, we track our work uh, on a daily basis, where the second one, uh, we track uh, on monthly and daily basis. Okay, uh, let me, uh, let me uh, introduce uh, in details about our VCB. Basically, uh, our v VCB is using a uh, Scrum Taskboard uh, concept where basically we have uh, three major columns here uh, which is to do, uh, doing and done. And basically, to do column is uh, where we put all of uh, work that uh, we get. Uh, well, for doing is our progress and done is work that has been completed. Okay, uh, <coughs> basically, how do we use our uh, VCB? Normally, when we get any requests uh, from our customers, uh, maybe marketing people or engineering, we're going to open one sticky note that contains all of this information here, as you can see here, uh, where we put the requester's name, uh, the requested uh, date, uh, the project ID, uh, the project name, unit of work, owner, and the due date. So each of us will have, uh, each of us in the team uh, will have our own sticky notes and we use uh, different colors to identify uh, who owns what. Uh, for example, here you can see uh, yellow belongs to Afriza, uh, blue belongs to Nadia, uh, red belongs to Reza, while for green, it belongs to man. All right. So once you have opened a, a new sticky notes, you're gonna put uh, that sticky notes into to do column here. So it will be sorted according to the category itself, whether it's spec guide, uh, CSP, assembly directions, uh, rework, and others. All right. <coughs> okay. Uh, once uh, the team member start to work on that particular project. So they're gonna move the sticky notes uh, from to do column to the doing column. And it will be, it will be sorted according to the progress. Uh, it's either uh, from 90% to, uh, sorry, from 10% to 90%. For example, uh, when I started uh, to work on this project, so I'm gonna uh, move from to do column here to doing column here. So let's say it's already 20% uh, complete, so I'm gonna just put it here. All right, so <coughs> once you have completed uh, and it's time to validate, so you're gonna move this to, uh, to validate column here. So we have two, uh, internal and external. So when it's time to validate internally, you're gonna put here, and the person to validate uh, that project uh, <coughs> will validate it. And once once it's approved, then uh, he or she gonna remove to the external validation here, uh, where our customers, uh, marketing or engineering people will do the validation. Once the project is complete. Uh, it's already approved by our customers. We're gonna stick it on done column here. So that means the project has been completed. <coughs> okay, uh, what if uh, our customer comes back to us uh, with some changes or rework? So we're gonna uh, move uh, the project, the project that has been completed previously but needs to be reworked to uh, to this row, uh, which is for rework and fixes here. So that means this project needs to be reworked. So when we start to work on that rework project, so this this the same process will happen again, where we're gonna move from uh, doing 
to validate and lastly time all right uh, we use uh, a few indicator here as you can see we have like three colors here which is uh, red for almost due um, black is for overdue and the blue one is for pending information so every day uh, we're going to review our task board here and we're going to check uh, which uh, project is almost due which one is overdue and which one is pending information and we're going to stick it on that particular project for example this project uh, is almost due which is tomorrow the due date is tomorrow so we're going to put it here just to uh, just to to make everyone aware uh, that it's it is almost due um, okay we're gonna move to the next uh, next board uh, where we track our project on a daily basis and we also have this project plan uh, where we track on a min uh, on a monthly basis <coughs> so uh, for our daily tracker we're gonna track uh, our day-to-day -day activity based on two unit of work, which is uh, graphic and page. So as you can see here, all of the members are listed here, and the unit of work is uh, two, which is graphic, uh, which is G, and P for page. And we have one column for carryover, where uh, we're gonna put uh, works that has been carried over from the previous week, to this column and we have from Monday to Friday column here where <coughs> we're gonna we're gonna fill in how many unit of work that we we'll, we'll estimate to work on that particular day and the next day uh, when we review the the VCB we're gonna uh, fill in uh, how many how many unit of work that we we have achieved uh, it's either above target or mid target or below target so we use uh, three colors here as you can see uh, green if it's above target then we just put it as green uh, if it's just mid target we just put it uh, in blue whilst for red is uh, if it's uh, below target all right so by the end of the week we're gonna uh, we're gonna accumulate all of the uh, unit of work that has been done for that particular week, and we're gonna put it here. Um, all right, the next one is our project plan, where we track our projects on a monthly basis. So uh, we gotta get a clearer picture of what's what projects that we are working on. For example, uh, this is our project plan from September to November. So uh, as you can see, uh, there are a few projects uh, that is running and will be done in the next few weeks. Uh, for example, Mediascape is running now, and for week three in September, we're gonna we're gonna work on Flip Top Three and and so on and so forth. Uh, other than that, uh, if let's say any one of the team members uh, is gonna go on. For vacation, so we're gonna put a sticky notes uh, on which week or which day that person uh, will be on leave. Uh, also, uh, for public holidays, also we're gonna put there uh, just to to let everyone knows that we'll be on public holiday. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs>